been tackled by Paddy Foley great ball inside there to Kevin Dunn Kevin been marked there by Martin Redmond Kevin gets a bit of space looking to find space for the shot holds up the ball that's the first shot at goal for Bun Clody and that's a great point for Bun Clody by number 10 Carl Doyle Carl Doyle with the first score on the board Levison with a nice ball down the line intercepted well by Martin O'Connor Martin O'Connor showing his experience Parry sent it on the ball again got a great goal against Maldentown in the semi-final gives the ball off to Martin O'Connor Martin starting to orchestrate things here from centre back for Bun Clody gives it across to Kieran Kavna Kieran Kavna with a great ball down inside Peter Atkinson and, and Oshin Foley are having a, a brilliant battle Peter Atkinson wins this one gets it up takes two solos has time to pick his spot of the goal Ben Turner's not happy with his defence that's a great score by Peter Atkinson Ronan just looking to see his teammates there Ronan holding on to the ball well been well tackled there by Bum Clody Bum Clody physicality is very good in the first 15 minutes ball in again Paddy Devereaux has been on a lot of ball for Bum Clody or for Balamurn Balamurn back out to back out to the substitute Robert Murphy Robert Murphy in there again Mark Connor's got a lot of ball as well takes a man inside gives it across here to Sam Kelly Sam Kelly looks to have a goal chance he's turned well by the Bun Clody defence gives it back out to Bill Everson Bill Everson with the left foot and that's a great score by Bill Everson to register Ballamurn's first point gets a big cheer from the Ballamurn crowd it's blocked off there by Colin Farrell but they get the breaking ball Owen Kelly gives a long ball in here to Kevin Dunn Kevin Dunn has shown really well for the ball Kevin gives it across here to Carl Doyle Carl Doyle's got one point to his name Bun Clody looking to break they've got a lot of space gives the ball out to Aidan Nolan Aidan's going to have a shot at goal and that's a good score from Aidan Nolan that's a great score from Aidan Nolan kicks it there and it's caught on the wind well won there by Paddy Revo. Paddy Revo wins the ball takes up the breaking ball looking for his teammate off the shoulder Paddy doing Trojan work so far today for, for across the bag gets a dangerous ball across this could be danger here because Pierre Axon is on his own inside Pierre Axon's one on one with Ben Turner decides to take the lob and it's a point for Peter Atkinson. A let off there for Ballon Murn. Ball down to the middle now. Seamus Carroll looking to come out with the ball. Being well tackled there. Under serious pressure from Bun Clody. Bun Clody have brought their A game today. Pardick Sinef picks up the break. Another chance for Aidan Nolan to register a score. He looks to strike it really well. Aidan Nolan kicking really, really well. One of the finest footballers in Wexford. As his usual stance, three or four steps back two to the left the spare man over here Sean Kenny that's poor from Ballamore under asleep Ballamore Sean Kenny has an easy shot at the goal he looks to pick it up and it's his goal point from play Sean Kenny with an easy chance and they need to mind the ball because Peter Atkinson is, is staying inside and Clody half forward line putting great pressure on Ballamore now they're intercepted again and just as I said it nobody Peter Atkinson took a chance and stayed inside Aidan Nolan has got goal in his mind and a great save by Ben Turner Ben Turner has kept across the big ball in this game. Sam Kelly looked to be fouled there, but Colin Farrell using all his experience. Ex Inter County hurler driving up the field here again. Man down here, Carl Doyle claiming a free. Intercepted there. Seamus Carroll well up in the ball. Aidan Nolan again. Gives a lovely left ball here across to Owen Kelly. Owen Kelly looking to get a shot at the post. Can he use it? He's left. No. Tackled well there by Paddy Foley. Paddy Foley back out to Byron Byrne. Byron Byrne. Great block down there by midfielder David Kyo. The ball is just breaking Bun Clody's way here at the moment. Carl Doyle looking for his second point and Carl Doyle kicks his second point. Gives a great ball inside now to Mark O'Connor. Ballamore need to start working this ball a bit quicker if they start to open up this Bun Clody defence and they have this time. Paddy Deverell bearing down through the goal. Gets in towards the day. Looks inside. Looks inside to Sam Kelly. Sam Kelly looks to be fouled. Referee is putting his... He's not giving anything. Sam Kelly coming out with the ball. Bun Clody have a chance. Saved on the line by Adam Hogan. Five or ten minutes to take this thing out of the game, but they did have. But, but Ballamore did have that goal chance. Out come across the back Ballamore now with the ball. Out to Connor Devereux. Connor back to Paddy. Paddy gives the ball back to the Devereux. Ronan surely pops up here somewhere. No, we'll give the ball into Mark Connor. Mark Connor's been busy. There goes Connor Devereux. They're attacking from wing back again. Can he get their first score on the board in the second half? And now Connor Devereux kicks a great score. Plays a one-two with Paddy. Gives into Mark Connor. Connor continues his run and kicks a, a super score to get Ballamurn's first point of the second half 10 points to 3 after 36 minutes just over zealous Martin gives a great ball to John Dunn John Dunn is away he's using his energy using his pace gives a great ball into Owen Kelly Owen Kelly now looking to break down good movement inside Bo Clody 
Peter Atkinson is on his own. John Dunn kicks the series ball. It's a dangerous ball for him. It's spilled. Peter Atkinson takes up the spillage. And he slips a great ball into side. A great goal by Peter Atkinson. Showing all his experience. Showing all his soccer experience over the years. Finishes a great ball low. In fairness to Ben Turner, he parried the ball. But by God, uh, John Dunn hit that ball hard. And it wasn't an easy ball to hold. Up the big ball into John Dunn. The ball is spilled there. Well won there by John Dunn this time. He's on a break. John has got plenty of pace. He's able to carry that ball well. A fine footballer. Son of John Dunn as well. He played for a soldier for years. Gives the ball off to Owen Kelly. And Owen Kelly gives a great score straight over there, man. He drives it over there. And that's a great score from Owen Kelly. He's second point of the game for, for, for Bun Clody. And there's the difference. Here come Bill Evans. If Cross the Baker to get back to this game, they need to create a goal chance from this. To have a chance. There we go. Long ball inside. Mark O'Connor. Adam Hogan's probably just going to try and take him down. Mark Connor gets him around. He spilled the ball. Chance here for Sam Kelly. That looked, oh, the referee's playing advantage and he brings it back. Well in there. Owen Kelly done everything right. Tracked his man. Sam made a great run from midfield. Owen Kelly just got the boot in and, and stopped it. But there's a free here, an infringement here on Mark Connor. And that'll be another free. Cross the big looking to take this quick. Probably looking to lob it in as hard as probably. There's a goal chance. Oh, a great save by Patrick Hamner. A great save by Patrick Hamner. A brilliant save. It was batted off. Connor Debro batted off. I'm not sure how that's a wide ball. Owen Kelly tackles again. Bugs are at 2019. Ashdown Park Intermediate C Football Champions for 2019. The final score is 1 12 to 4 points. Referee John Carden had a brillant game, puts an end to procedures, and Bunclody are finally back up in senior. And as I said, they'll be a brilliant match for anybody in 2020. And fair play to them because they've given Hurland football a real bash this year. They've got to a county Hurland final in 2019 and a county football final. They've had an exceptional year, and rightly they'll celebrate. And unfortunately for Cross the Bank Ballymore, just wasn't their day. But day two have given the boat codes a good rattle this year. County semi final in Hurland, county final in football. They look bad with fond memories, but they'll come again next year and it'll be hard to beat. And well done to Bunk Cody. Right, uh, you have to forgive me, uh, I've no speech uh, written, but uh, I'll say a few words. Uh, Sean said if I don't the top and he'll do the singing tonight. Um, no, it's a, it's a great day for our club, lads. It's probably a very important day for our club. Um, we went too long at uh, all, at all level without winning a, a, a cup. Um, so it's very important to get back up to the high level. Cheering us on, lads. It's, it's great motivation for us when we're out on the field here in that roar. Um, our young teams, great show up for the last final. See the post with a few. Uh, and I know now, lads, that the young lads keep at it. Some days we'll be up here at the top left, lifting the cups as well. Um, I just want to thank uh, the players, lads. Um, we nearly started this time a year ago, we said before the match. We're certainly going over the year. Um, and I'd like to thank them for their massive effort today. And right thank you, lads. Well done. We deserve it today, lads. Well done. Uh, just a few other people to thank, lads, to help us out through the year. Um, I'd like to thank Big Kyo and the staff at the River's Edge, lads. The Cole Knights always had soup and sandwiches after us for the training. Um, fed us after our championship matches. It's a massive, massive uh, help for us going along the way, lads. Um, it actually brought us on a good bit, getting everyone together, gelling together. So it's very important, and thanks very much, Nick. Um, I'd like to thank um, our management team, lads. Um, they put in a massive effort this year. Um, like, uh, I'd like to thank um, Jar Cowan, Shemi Kelly. Um, they do tremendous work, lads. But they've been doing it not even. Not even for this year, lads. They've been there for the last, I don't know, many years. Um, so thanks very much, Shemi and uh, Jer. 
much appreciated. Um, before I move on, lads, uh, I'd like to thank um, I'd like to thank our past trainers, lads. Um, over the years, they have um, wanted us to get to this level. Who believed in us? And we've just fell short a couple of times. We've hit the post with a couple of finals. Um, I hope he's get some satisfaction out of us in this Black Cup today. So thanks very much. Finally, lads, um, I'd like to thank uh, Peter ha Halley for his getting us in tip top shape throughout the year, lads. Um, he's gone through all the month getting us fit uh, along the way. Um, he might have a new band for us by next year. So thanks very much, Peter. <laughs> um, last but not least, lads, um, there's always a good man that steers the ship from behind, lads. This man doesn't like being plumbers. He's a grafter, I think, lads. He just likes to get on with it. There's no ifs or buts. We go and do it. Um, the amount of hours that man has put into it behind the scenes, we'll probably never know. Um, but Bagley, on behalf of the players of Bud Cody, half of Bud Cody, we'd like to thank you very much for everything that you've done for us. Uh, finally, I'd, thank, um, I'd like to thank uh, Cross and Meg, lads. Um, I know you were in the final last year and the final this year, but we were in the same boat, lads. In 2010, 2011, we lost two finals. But the group of players has have, lads. I know he's going to be back, and I wish you best of luck going forward. Uh, three cheers for Casabe. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. hip. Thank you very much. Light up the bonfires. Okay, one final award to announce uh, the man of the match. Uh, the Amber Springs, Ashdown Park, man of the match, presented by Captain Murphy, and the man of the match is Ed Nolan.